All right. Hey, uh, I have seen some Google Forms, some weird things going on. So let's say I do a Google Form and I make it a quiz, which really means that I'm just scoring the questions, right? And I get these really cool insights down here. Man, they've improved this a ton. Like, they just keep improving things, which I think is so cool. There was not all of this to begin with when you first started doing this. So really cool stuff. But if I click this sheet and I get the sheet that was created for me, you notice there's no score. And, like, I get the overall score. But let's say I want the score per question, right? Like, I want to do, like, an item analysis type thing. Uh, I had a teacher actually ask me this, and so I dug into it a bit. So... I want the score for each one of these. I don't have to type it in manually. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to that response page. You're going to click the three dots, and you're going to click download responses, all right? And I'm on a Chromebook, so um, it actually zips that file for me, which is a little bit inconvenient on a Chromebook. Um, but it's a CSV file, so I'm actually going to jump over to my drive here, and I'm going to show you exactly what you'll need to do with that. So there it is, untitledform.csv zip and when I double click on that uh, I, I have a zip extractor maybe <laughs> and it will actually pull out the file for me so it says it's working right now so I'll let it work oh could not execute action terrific <laughs> let's try that again I'm gonna right click on it actually two finger click or yeah two finger click and I'm gonna open my zip extractor I'm gonna see if it'll pull it through here Right, so Zip Extractor is just a tool I use. It's a little app uh, on a Chromebook. If you're on a Windows or Mac, it would be different, right? Uh, probably wouldn't have as big of an issue. I'm just going to extract that to my drive. All right, and then I'm going to view the file for myself. And you'll notice here's my CSV, right? And Google, Google Sheets does a pretty good job opening CSVs. Uh, so you should be able to click on here, and I'm going to click Open With, and I'm going to go to Google Sheets. And now I've got that in Sheets. All right, so that took a little bit. It was like, you know, not instantaneous there, but you get the CSV. Uh, one more time, run it back. Three dots, download responses, right? So you're, you're getting all of the responses with the grade attached to them instead of just... Um, this spreadsheet, which just gives you their overall score. So now I'm looking in here, and you can see they got a 2.00 out of 10. Um, I can see the answers to each one of these questions. I don't know why that came over as a dash. That I thought that was going to come over as a 5. But regardless, let's say we we're looking at this question right here, and we want to run an error analysis. Now, 2.00 out of 2 doesn't give me really great data in order to be able to kind of edit this. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to insert a column to the right, and I'm going to do a quick little left. All right. And left is just starting on the left-hand side of the cell, how many uh, characters do I want to take. And uh, so I'm going to just say the cell number here. I'm just going to click on that. And then uh, the number of characters. Well, I actually... It's a whole number question. It's either zero or two. So I'm actually just going to say uh, I want one character there. And if you notice now, it just says two, right? And then a quick trick I learned from Ben Collins. I can't give any credit to really any of my sheets knowledge other than to other people. But if you uh, if you drag this down, right, that'll, that'll copy that down for all of these cells, which is really helpful. So if there were more things in here, you would see a bunch of scores. And then uh, if you want to do some analysis on this, a really helpful trick is you copy it and then you, you right click and you paste the values only. And then when you do that, you're not actually pasting that formula anymore, but you've got all the values. And now I can run some really great analysis. I could hit the explore button and create some graphs or I can find the average or the median. Probably median would be a better predictor uh, than average. If it's only zero and two, maybe you just tabulate, you know, you count distinct, you count the number of twos, you count the number of zeros, something like that, right? But um, I'll let you, I'll let you stick to the details of that kind of analysis. But uh, that, that's the step. So let's go through it one more time. You take uh, your form, you don't click on this sheet if you want individual answers, right? Uh, you can see it here. Um, but instead you click, you download CSV, uh, unfortunately, on a Chromebook, which is what I'm working on, I love Chromebooks so much, man. I love them. 
uh, I needed an app, so I used Zip Extractor. Um, it opened that file for me right here. I clicked Open with Sheets. I used the left command. And then I pasted the values. Right, I copied. And then I right click, two finger click, whatever you, and I paste values only, right? And then I can do my analysis on that. So that uh, that's the steps to getting the individual um, point values for each question. I hope that is helpful to you. Let me know.